So today we're going to touch on uh, money and mindset, okay? You know how maybe you you have a 9 to 5, you're, you're working and you're like, ah, but maybe you've been doing this 9 to 5 for a while and you're like, ah, you're not really saying, you're not really saving much or, you know, you're not, ah, hey, what's going on and all that. And then of course, maybe you start blaming your village people because we, in our part of the world, we know we like to blame village people for everything. Oh, it's my village people. Oh, it's my village people. They won't let me progress. My village people, you know, this is my 9 to 5. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Meanwhile, the number one village person eh, is you. Yes, I said it. The number one village person is you. Why do I say that? You only have nine to five, but yet you want to save, yet you want to be rich, yet you want to, with only nine to five. Eh? Let me tell you, give you a quote. Warren Buffett, right, the Omaha himself, said, if your nine to five is your only source of income, is the only source of income that you have, you are one step to poverty. Let me say that again. If your nine to five is the only source of income you have, you are one step to poverty. You see now, do you see why you're not able to save? You see why you're not able to like have anything meaningful, you know, despite your nine to five. Nine to five, we know it that to be a millionaire, right? You need to have at least seven sources of income. I know some people say, yeah, seven. Even me, I'm like, ah, seven, yeah, okay, that's, you know. But basically what it is is, you cannot, it cannot only be your nine to five. And go on and look around the world, right? The people who are the richest, the wealthiest, the richest, they're not nine to five people. They are employers of nine to five people. They are entrepreneurs. They are businessmen and women. They are inventors. They are, basically, they are the nine to five people. Yes, you may have some CEOs of maybe large banks, you know, maybe, you know, large, the large investment banks. Yes, they are multi-millionaires. I mean, their salary packages and all of that. But that's the, the top, top, but still, they're not on like the top 100 or even 500 on the Forbes richest list. The so-called CEOs who, are, who earn multi-millions. Basically what it is, is if you want to save money, you want to generate more wealth and all that, go and in addition to your nine to five, right? Go and do other things as well. Some people are like, ah, but where's the time? Where is the time? There is time. You will find out. You will make out time. Once you have built that resolve to stop being the number one village person in your life, trust me, the universe will start to open up. Destiny helpers will start to be placed on your way. Ideas will start to come up, right, in your head. Like, huh, okay, what else can I do? So let me, let me just give you an example. You're a 9 to 5 person. What else can you do? Maybe you have skill sets. Maybe you bake the best agege bread. Maybe you have interior decorate, decorating skills. Maybe you have event planning skills. You're that, you have that attention to detail. You like planning things. You like making things like, you know, like maybe you like, um, maybe you're good with, I don't know, accounting. And you're good with like putting together financial statements, right? And you can help small businesses who are trying to look for loans, you know, put together the financial package or financial statements that they can use to then apply with the bank. You know, maybe, maybe you're good at taxes. So help people do taxes during tax season, right? Not trust me, people need help with their income tax um, filing. Maybe I could go on and on and on. I can go on and on. Turn this your hobby, right? Things that already come naturally to you. It's like, why not monetize it? I want to start making money on the side. Right? It comes naturally to you. Start monetizing it. Right? Side gig. Look, with Amazon, there's, there's so many. I see all the time when I'm driving, I see Amazon delivery trucks. Go get one. Get a van. Get a delivery truck. Or sign up with Amazon. Start delivering on the weekends or in the evenings. And, and you'll be amazed. Right? You'll be amazed at how much... Even, the, even if a day you earn $200, let's say you're doing this delivery thing, right? Or, or you're doing event planning, and in a quarter, you're able to plan two events or three events, and those two or three events, you know, earn you 3K, 5K. Are you trying to see how? Side gig, you're earning 3K, 5K. Before you know it, your side gig will become your main gig. You will even say, nine to five, oh yeah, come on, be going. I am making, let me focus on my business now. Now you are a business person, now you're an entrepreneur. Now you start employing people who will now be nine to five people. And you start making your money. So you see how you will stop being your number one village person. And no village person, it's not that, the concept of all oh, my village people, my village people. Again, we just like to blame other people, my village people. Take responsibility and be accountable, you know, and do this, you can do it. And once you have that resolve, right once you have the resolve to want to do something hey you know what i need to earn extra income how do i go about it right and you put energy into it 
the stars will start to align help will just come like you even you you'll be amazed like wow you know set up if, it's, if you need to set up a company go and register the company at least have a registered company set up a bank account a business bank account because before you know it contracts will just start coming in you just start doing and you'll be so busy even yourself you'll be like ah this is whoa i need a vacation or from this like this is how it works but you need to start and you need to stop being your number one village person okay okay we can do this promise <laughs> you say you also you come again yes i have come again there are no village people and stop being the number one village person okay put energy into it there's a saying that also says insanity is doing something over and over again but expecting different results so in other words yes you're just doing the nine to five nothing else but yet you're like oh but i need more savings or i need but okay what are you doing differently you're still continuing to doing just do the same thing just only the nine to five no let's change that's insane let us change it have a nine to five once that side gig let the side gig start bringing you money and that money you can say hey okay this is going towards savings or this will go towards you know paying debt off or this will go you know and then you start to, so now you've changed things right that is no more insane that is now using sense okay. no village people no. let's kick let's kick the village people including the number one village person to the curb and let's start acting right okay <laughs> bye guys